There you can see the spider that resides outside my window, up in the corner. Today my dad and I went to uh, another place, I forget what the name of the place is, but anyways I have another apartment uh, in Winnipeg now, uh, so I'll be moving out uh, tomorrow as a matter of fact, Friday the 13th. This tape will contain the last ever recordings made at this apartment. Uh, the air conditioner is dysfunctional now in case you're wondering. That was from the first incident in August, on August uh, 23rd. I've uh, been in Winnipeg ever since August 26th, uh, the night of the second incident. And uh, I stayed at uh, Mark and Chris's place and... Uh, there you go. If you look over here you might be able to see the... So you can see all the fingerprints and stuff on the uh, on the glass. And they were banging on the window and stuff. As you can see, I've been packing everything away all night. Literally all night. Doing some dishes in there. See the video shelves are looking. Oh shit, I forgot all about those ones up there. I'll have to get those. Video shelves are all looking quite bare. Father and Dave will be here in about two hours, so I have that long to uh, finish up, which means I have to have everything disconnected and uh, packed and ready to be loaded onto the truck and taken off to Winnipeg. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I've said this before, I'll say it once again, this will be the last uh, series of recordings. Uh, all the recordings that take place in this apartment on this tape are the last recordings ever to uh, take place in this apartment. This is the saga of Selkirk, the end of an era, as of September 13th, Friday, September 13th, 1991. Anyway, so I've been up all night just drinking a uh, super big gulp. I just put three ice cubes in it to uh, help it uh, chill down somewhat. It's become rather warm. And I've been smoking a lot of cigarettes and so forth to uh, keep the blood pressure up to keep me going. And I was thinking I've got, a, I got some bacon and an egg. So I was thinking of having bacon and egg for breakfast. Yeah, so I guess that's about it. As you saw... Uh, few minutes ago on the tape here. Uh, the air conditioner has not been repaired yet. As a matter of fact, Al just found out about it today, apparently. I thought my dad had told him about it, but he had not. So, um, Al asked me what happened, and I gave him the very, very condensed version. I said I got into some trouble with some guys. I tried to put the foot through their air conditioner. Uh, 
However, I did manage to get all three of them arrested, and he was uh, quite pleased about that. So, um, I'm going to continue packing. As you can see, I'm getting quite a nice stack of boxes here, right? There's boxes all around. Sorry. <laughs> Just fell backwards into the blinds. See what happened was I got my foot stuck in the trash can there. <laughs> and uh, fell backwards into the blinds. Pulled the clock down. That's the time. And that's the date. For the first time, both on the screen at the same time. Okay, so my uh, our, uh, camera clock is a little behind that one. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll get back to you in a bit. There will be a final farewell message at the end of this tape. So until then, goodbye. I suppose a little explanation is in order. Excuse me again, two times. Um, the reason I'm moving is because of the events uh, documented uh, previously on this tape. Uh, I have been cleaning like for the past 18 or so hours, and. Uh, Well, 12 at least. That's what, no, cleaning, uh, well, I've been cleaning and packing, washing the dishes back there in the kitchen, which is almost completely barricaded off by boxes. And, uh, <clears throat> I've used every single box in the place. And they're all full. And uh, I still have a fuck of a lot more to do. And no, I haven't been drinking. What you see before you is the result of severe fatigue. <sighs> As you can probably tell by the time uh, Dave and my dad will be here any time. Uh, any minute, probably. And my dad's going to see that I'm not finished. And even though I gave it my best shot, I have a feeling he's going to be pissed off anyway. Sometimes I wonder what's the use. If only I had like one more day, I could get it all done. Because I've got most of it done. I've filled every single box. I don't have any boxes left and I still have some dishes left to put away. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Anyway, I don't want to bore you anymore. Uh, I guess uh, this is Adios from Apartment 103, the Eveline Luxury Villas, Selkirk, Manitoba. Yeah, that's this is it. It's all over. On to greener pastures, hopefully. I hope to be making a hell of a lot of money in the next, uh, in the coming year. Uh, I sent away for a kit for a, uh, a video company. I said send away for a, I sent them fifteen dollars American, well fourteen ninety five American, uh, for a startup kit, and it's a sort of in home kind of thing. Uh, said anybody who has a video camera is qualified. So, I figure what the hell? I got a video camera and I've got some experience using it. So, uh, why not? So I sent away for it a few days ago. Uh, 
so the kit I sent away uh, I used my dad's address so that when the kit arrives it'll be arriving at his doorstep because when I sent away for it I hadn't found a place yet actually my dad found a place for me and uh, anyway nice nice place dude not as big as this uh, well actually I guess maybe it is just configured differently uh, the rooms are more closed off, the kitchen is more enclosed, and, uh, and so forth, and the living room, and, uh, that's a nice, it's a good-sized apartment complex, it has a pool in it, well, I'll, uh, give you the grand tour of my place, uh, a little later, probably tonight, uh, when I'm there, I really don't know what we're gonna do about the rest of the stuff. Maybe my dad will let me come back tomorrow or something. And the thing is, my dad wants to move me into my place. He wants to move himself into his new place and move all of Andy's furniture out of his old place to Andy's place. All today. I mean, you look at this stack of boxes behind me here. It's, uh, all this alone, moving me alone, would take at least a day, a full day, you know, because I got all the furniture, all this shit. I don't know if my new place is going to be able to fit everything. Because it doesn't have as much, I think it has two closets, maybe three. Two, maybe maybe three closets. Possibly four, I'm not sure. I don't think there's any more than three, though. I don't know. Well, uh, Andy's having a yard sale in a short while. So I hope to unload some of my stuff uh, there. Like, uh, I hope to unload my uh, the videos I've been trying to sell for a while. And some of the uh, audio tapes and records, and uh, who knows what else I'll be able to sell. Maybe I'll try to sell my old stereo, or, or my uh, double cassette deck uh, ghetto blaster, or anything really. Basically wherever I can make money is great, because I need money. I need a lot of it, so I'm going to try to make as much money as I can. I'm going to try to get a, a full-time job somewhere close to where I live hope to make a lot of money off of this uh, video thing and uh, hope to pull in at least a couple of hundred bucks from uh, the yard sale who knows maybe more maybe I'll make more I'm hoping to make around 500 actually but I don't know that's only if like, we sell everything it also uh, and he's also selling some of my old furniture from Toronto and uh, apparently I get to keep the money from it from whatever it uh, pulls in so so that's good and, uh, you know, there you go. So I'm hoping to make lots of moolah. And also, uh, I'm going to be covered by the uh, cable office, as I have been in the past. Uh, for the first, uh, long while, anyway. <laughs> My dad was just going to sort of drop me out in the cold, but he said, No, actually, uh, we'll do it the way we've been doing it for the past two and a half years. So anyway, uh, I guess this wraps up Selkirk. It is over. Most likely. <laughs> Who knows, I may be back here uh, to get some more stuff of mine. Or not, I don't know. Well, I'm so tired. We'll uh, wait and see what happens. Okay? Okay, so anyway. Nice talking to you. There's my crotch here. Okay, well, anyway, uh, goodbye. 9.12 a.m. and 37 seconds. It's still September 13th, 1991. <sighs> Friday, by the way. Yes, it is, in fact, Friday the 13th. Goodbye.